Welcome, I am the Emperor and this is Crusader Kings 3. We're playing as Ireland, or rather the Empire of Alba by now, in a series I like to call Learning As We Play. I stream these over on Twitch right now. This recording, this is Twitch. I just kind of hit the record <laughs> and then upload it to YouTube as well. And if you're looking to learn how to play Crusader Kings 3, you're in the right place. If you have any questions based on the gameplay I'm showing, the things I'm doing, the choices I make, feel free to ask in the comments or check out the Twitch and join there as well. Also, quick announcement for both uh, Twitch and YouTube on the 7th 23rd of 2023, we're going to do a little giveaway of the Crusader Kings 3 base game and the two main DLC and maybe some more. We'll see how it goes. And um, yeah, if you want to join, you just got to be over in the stream. You got to be a follower or a subscriber, whichever tickles your fancy. And uh, then we're going to do a little giveaway. Uh, it starts on 8 o'clock GMT plus one. So Berlin or Paris time. But now let's get in for today. <laughs> right. Okay. So what, what have we here? We have gotten all the islands, basically. There's only a little bit of stuff missing up there, which honestly isn't all that important. We kicked out Frankia, which had a little bit of a keepsake here over in the Duchy of York. And we have started taking pieces, bits and elements down here in Spain, because I figured something out last stream, actually. You can have 250 hours on this game like me, you can have 900 hours on Crusader Kings 2 like me, and you still are going to find out certain things because maybe you didn't read properly, maybe you didn't fully understand what you read, um, but our lifestyle affords us a lovely thing here. Uh, actually, yeah. Uh, wait, is it this lifestyle actually? Ah, yeah, yeah. Sanctioned loopholes by claim interaction. Now, I always tried this, and all I saw, basically, was, um, well, that I couldn't do it, because I only ever tried it on Kingdom titles. But, apparently, you can't have anything of the same level you are, and kingdoms and empires are all considered pretty much the same level. Uh, so... We cannot buy a claim for a kingdom. It doesn't let us. Because we're already a king or an empire. But, and that's the cool part, <laughs> we can just look inside his empire, find ourselves some duchy titles that we would like to have. Um, like we can just look into this, see what duchy this is. So this thing here is a duchy. Uh, the Taifa of Batalyas. Taifa of Batalyas. So, I think I should be able... How did I do it last time? I haven't done it a lot, so we'll have to figure it out again. This, click on this. Okay. Can I buy a title here? Okay, we have to click it out and we have to take that. And now we can get for the whole duchy... We can buy a claim with, I think this only costs us 500 prestige. There we go. Now we can just wage war against him soon and take this whole thing. And we can basically do that against anyone here. Um, the Kingdom of Leon is our ally and they're asking for our help. I decided not to go. What reasons did I have again not to do that? We thought of... A little bit of a northern invasion there. So that was a thing that kept us. But now we might actually go. I don't really see any enemies in this. Oh, there they are. Okay, so they have 4,000. If we raise, say... Oh, we don't even have that many. Right, that was one of the issues I think I had. Because we don't have that many troops at the moment. And I think last time we checked, there were a bunch of... Okay, no factions anymore. So we can go help our ally. Don't worry about the many numbers here. This is just because we are... Uh, we are loading back into the game. Okay, this was another reason I wanted to... I did not want to do it. Because our cash flow is 
basically negative um heavily so let's organize some troops at least it stops the blood flow a little bit the hemorrhaging and maybe we can help him win one battle or something oh actually that doesn't look too good for us <laughs> uh, why would we lose so heavily better army commander what army commander do you have my friend uh, show me the army, please. Why can I not see the army? I'd like to select the army. Just the army. Hmm. Can't click on them, but that is bad. More commander trades, higher quality. Hmm. So we could go siege something instead. We definitely don't want to fight them in terrain that's favorable to them. Uh, maybe we should go closer to our ally here. Oh, yeah, that might not go well for us. Okay. I don't know what our ally is doing. Oh, we got a sturdy chest. Some court grandia and some piety. Lovely stuff, thanks. Okay. Okay, let's let's tell our wife we don't trust her again. And we'll just believe her because honestly I don't have the energy. A call to war. Join me in the war for the county of Leon. Uh, okay. County of... Oh, that thing. Alright, he, he lost to a northern invader, I think? Well, our allies are calling in some favors, <laughs> apparently. And I don't think I can cash in because we are hemorrhaging money hard here. There's really not a lot we can do at this point. Being a feudal lord that just converted from tribalism to feudalism. Um, We'll have to see. Let's see. I, I don't know. Oh, come on. Oh, he, uh, let the cat be part of the thing here. Another call to war. Uh, right? So they're being attacked from the outside as well now. Boy, he's having a hard time. But we are also potentially going to have a hard time with all this. Hmm. Our counselor died. Let's find a new one. Spy master. Okay, he's not bad. And he's a strong vassal, so might as well give it to him. I would like to siege something so we can get uh, a hostage, some gold from the siege, something like that. Just so we don't go entirely without. Because so far we have spent like 40 gold and we haven't gotten anything out of it. We would get a tiny little prestige bonus there, but that's really it. Oh, enemies left the war. The f that's 500 less we have to worry about. That's good. <laughs> uh, so we'll just finish this siege up and see what to do next then. Do we have a commander that's good at siege? We do not. Our prince, our heir, has become a charismatic negotiator. Oh, okay, that's pretty good. And he's immediately improvident. Oh, no. Not more of that in our bloodline. <laughs> we have no siege leader whatsoever. So we're not going to win this at all, but I need to make up some of our losses. I'm going to go fight that fool down there for him. I'm going to do that. Okay, if they are not Christian, they are not welcome. I mean... What a fine development. So, people are coming here. Generally, my advice is kind of look at what the options are. If there's a lot of green, take the one that has a lot of green. If there's not a lot of green, then... Try to take the one that hurts you least in the very moment. County of... is only gets thriving Jewish community for 10 years. I mean, yeah, okay. 
you're close enough to us as Jews. You're welcome. Okay, so we took this and got eight gold out of it. Eight. Eight. Oh, man. Okay, so I don't know what he's doing on there. But I think we're done with this war or any other war. Now I remember why I didn't want to do it last one. <laughs> why is this a fair fight? Okay. Our wife is giving a lot in support to us. More soldiers. Oh god, okay. He has reinforcements. Oh no. Oh, that's why. Oh no, we're already losing without the reinforcements. Oh god, we're getting booped out of existence down here. All right, we have a new son. Let it be a good little Antoninus. Good name. Uh, okay, not great. Not great at all. So, yeah, we didn't help at all. We're losing money and we're not helping even. It's, um, sorry, Leon. That appears to be the end of you. But we got a learning perk, so that's nice. Uh, reduced chance of contracting illnesses. Reduced chance of courtiers of contracting illnesses. I think we're going to go with that. Because the next one, Iron Constitution, is really, really great against diseases. Now oh, this army is going to pass by us. That's all fine. All oh, right, we have, a, we have a chest to place. Do we put it back there or do we put it here? I think we'll put it back there in the in the nice little corner. Our masterwork furniture. Look at that little chest there. No one's gonna know what's in there. We're gonna hide all our cookies and stuff. Okay, our troops are back and we're just gonna disband them. I don't even care that they're gonna take six months to reconstitute. But we can't afford it, basically. That's how it is. So we switch him back to training our troops. Look at that. This is just maintaining and replenishing our men at arms now. That's all that is. Uh, and we're not earning nearly enough to really off offset any of this. And we're being raided at home. Which I can't do anything about right now. It will take us five months to raise our troops here. Because we just took them down very close by. But if we take the raider down, we might get something nice out of them. Hello, Captain Bira, and welcome back. So nice to see you here. How are your Crusader Kings 3 games going at the very moment? Uh, what? Uh, okay. Someone has been released. The foul fiend. Okay, that's not good. It's good as always, which means bad. Oh come now. I'm I'm sure it's not it's not that bad. Can't be worse than what I well, it could be worse than what I'm doing right now. And we just got Pinonomia. Alright, so the court physician will always suggest us a way of dealing with things. Um and they are like not to be taken lightly. So it's too late for caution is what we're gonna take here. And uh we just got this figured and we're a year away from from death. Ah, uh, yes, I remember your India game. We lost three quarters of everything in succession. Okay. We might have to have another lesson on succession, I think. Your brothers were somehow stronger. All right. Okay. Got a bunch of factions. Oh, boy. Oh, lad. Uh, that's, that's difficult. Okay. Uh, our court physician, who disfigured us horribly... We'll, we'll, be, we'll be cross with him. We're now one-eyed and wounded. Uh, so we'll tell him not to do that again. And we are... We're going to dice him. Pretty much. What happened to our spouse? Oh, no. He took our woman as his concubine. Thank you, child, for the money. This guy took our wife as his concubine. That's what happened here. 
Oh boy, how did we need to catch those raiders? But we need a lot of troops because they are pretty, pretty good. Oh no, they get on their ship. Where? What? Listen here. You ended if uh, alter fouring out of frustration. Oh man. Okay, I get it. So were you were you surprised by the loss of uh, titles and land in the succession, or did you have an idea of what you might lose during succession? That's my first question. I have. High Chiefdom of Egdafikli. By claim. Ah. Where is it? Who has it? You have it? Why can't I buy the claim for it then? Nope. I know I had like 13 sons, so... <laughs> okay, we're gonna have a quick lesson on succession again. It is the most difficult and complex issue that you're gonna run into inevitably early that is going to ruin your experience in Crusader Kings 3. I'm just gonna be honest about that. Succession, I don't think we can repeat enough how succession works, how to anticipate these problems and potentially avoid them. First things first, don't have 13 sons. <laughs> just just avoid that, okay? <laughs> Eventually just be like, nope, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> now you don't necessarily have control over that, depending, but there are actually ways of doing that. However, the thing that you need to keep in mind, uh, let me ask some more questions and then we'll go into some explanations, okay? F question one, what was your highest title? And what were the titles, not, not necessarily the name, just were you a duke? Were you a king? And how was it split? Were there many duchies after after a succession? Or how did it... How did it... <laughs> okay, you were a king. And then how did it splinter? Were they all in your kingdom, but they just were stronger than you? It was a big kingdom and a bunch of duchies. I was just about to make get in. Okay, you were. Okay, okay, okay. There was a big kingdom and a bunch of duchies. So a second kingdom was created, basically, out of your one kingdom title that you held, if I understand you correctly. Because the duchies should have stayed inside your kingdom. Also correct? Or were the duchies outside of your kingdom then? Some of them stayed inside. Okay. So, uh, we're going to shop for another wife real quick in the, in the background. Not our niece, though. Uh, there's really no one good, honestly. That is all pretty horrible what we have here. Okay, we're not going to shop for another wife. We're just going to go attack the Danish and try and take our wife back. That's what's going to happen now. This is this is personal now. <laughs> um, uh, no, you... Yeah, kind of. Yeah, you, you... Okay, let's let's look at my succession and then we're going to talk about what happened in your succession, all right? So my succession right now is secure. Pretty much. We have an empire. The worst that could happen is kingdoms going away. But nothing is going to leave the empire in that way. It could, depending on our crown authority. Um, if you look at the crown authority, I think somewhere here it says, um, let's see, it's not here. I think it starts here. 
is it even the fourth one? Where does it say? Vassal titles cannot be inherited by characters outside the realm. Vassal, okay, so on, on Crown Authority 3 you need to be. So vassal titles can't be inherited by characters outside the realm. That helps you keep your kingdom a little bit together. That doesn't really concern your own death, though. That doesn't have anything to do with it. What you need to look at is you press F2, you get the domain view, and then you go to the succession tab. That's where you, that's where you need to look a lot early on. That's your bread and butter, okay? Um, so what are we going to lose? We're going to lose this duchy, um, the petty kingdom of Wessex, which is just a duchy, even though it says petty kingdom. So all that is highlighted red. We're going to lose to our uh, son here, to the other son. And the petty kingdom of Seville, which is down here uh, in uh, Spain, is also going to go away to one of our son. Before that, when our father died... His brothers, uh, or rather his, our brothers, uh, they got respectively the Kingdom of Ireland and the Kingdom of Alba. Whereas we kept the Kingdom of England, the Kingdom of Wessex maybe, and uh, the Empire of Alba. We're not ever going to lose the Empire of Alba. That's our main, main primary title. We're also never going to lose our capital county. So this here, all of what we see here, all these four little baronies... Those are secure. Even if we lose all these other titles through succession, through the ages, it doesn't matter. These will always be ours. So that is why you need to build tall. Always build tall in your own uh, county. Always build stuff. Always make it better. Yeah? That's what you need to do. Uh, speaking of which, I need to do. Uh, since we can't follow them, I need to stand down my troops ASAP. <laughs> right. So why don't I care about this succession right now? It doesn't matter to me. I don't, I don't need these. Look at this duchy title here. I don't even hold anything in, either, in there anymore. He just gets the duchy title. I don't care. Uh, this duchy title down here, I think it's similar. I don't hold anything there. It doesn't matter to me. They just are entitled to the next highest rank they can get. Now, a different thing that people, I don't think, understand. The succession law that you always... or almost always are going to start out with is confederate petition and this is the worst one you can have why because even if there isn't a title in existence it will be created for them if you fulfill the requirements could we lose an empire yes we could if the only empire outside our own empire where we hold land right now is down here. So if we look at this and we go to what is the highest rank, the highest empire here is the Empire of Hispania. So if we held 64 de jure counties down here, even if we don't have the gold, doesn't matter. If we hold 64 de jure counties and we die today, then all of this is going to be splintered away into an independent empire for one of our brothers. Because um, this type of partition will always try and give them the highest equal title they can get. That's also why no one is getting a kingdom title right now. Because there isn't a kingdom title that we are holding. And in all of our holdings, there is no kingdom title that could be created for them. Because the next best one is probably this one. And we hold four out of six de jure counties. It's not going to be created. That's fine. Same with Andalusia over here. We hold 6 out of 10. It's not going to be created. That's how confederate partition works. And I don't think people realize that because it's really, really badly written. And that is why you had your empire, your kingdom split into different kingdoms. Because while you may never have created the second kingdom title, you held enough so the kingdom title was created for your brother. And he got everything that goes with it. That's how you really lose a lot of land. So when you early on start spreading out, check those titles. If you were a count and you're working up to become a duke, check how many things you can get before you inevitably grow into having multiple duchies. If you're a king 
and you're spreading out. Make sure that you don't have too much stuff. Don't conquer stuff if you're old is a decent... It kind of depends. You can conquer stuff, but make sure that whatever you take isn't enough to form a new title, is what I'm saying. That's basically all you need to check. That's when you look at the very early game on this particular uh, series in, in Ireland. What we did was we started, I think, in Ormond. And we took an Ormond or Ossery. I'm not sure. I think Ossery. So what we did was we took like this and this and that and this. Like we took really weirdly patterned and shaped stuff. Because we were aware of where the duchies are. And you can always check and just go here in the duchy view. Shift Q. And then you can always see. And then you just click on the title and you see, okay, what do I need? If it's already created, that's a different matter entirely. If it's already created and is held by someone who isn't part of your family, go nuts. Take everything except for one county. Because they are going to remain the duke. But you're going to have all the counties and your sons are not going to inherit it. Same for kingdom titles, same for empire titles. If it's already there, confederate petition is not going to usurp a title away. It's just going to create a new one. So what you need to be aware of is all these red ones. The ones that don't exist. Those are a threat to your succession as confederate petition. Understand? Am I making myself clear here? <laughs> I don't know, I, I hope. I'm, I'm trying to uh, help. So do let me know if, if that makes sense to you if, you, if you can follow me. If you can't, I'm gonna try again until we get it right. Because this is the most important thing that you can ever understand about Crusader Kings 3. Once you've got this down, most other things are just gonna be a bit of a problem. Maybe, he says. <laughs> right. Okay, then. Um... Let me try again. L let me try again. I'm, I'm thinking of uh, something a little bit more, like less in the terms of Crusader Kings, a little bit more understandable for us. Okay. No. Yeah, wait. So, yeah, okay. You tell me what you understood and we're going to go from there before I start a whole nother ramble there. Let's go. If you have land, yeah, yeah, that's a good start. <laughs> but not the title of that land, yeah. When you die, the person that get that land, yeah, yeah, yeah. Will get the highest title that he can get with the land he gets. Right? If it can be created for them. If it's already held by someone else, no. But if it's like a red one, a red one like here, you know, it, it hasn't been created yet. So you gotta rush those titles before you die to not get a lot of problems. No, no, actually, no, okay. I, I, I didn't make myself clear. Let's try again. Let's try again. Um, so your, your regular view is the E view. For the realms. So you see what you have, right? We, we see we have Alba. But what you need to look at when expanding early on, or whenever, honestly, not just early on, as long as you have confederate petition, or really, um, like, confederate petition is the worst one. What I'm describing right now is what you need to look at in confederate petition. In partition, that doesn't happen anymore. Um, it says here, so, titles will be divided, new titles may be created for younger realm heirs. That's the problem with confederate petition. In petition, that goes away. In petition, you only need to worry about the titles you do have. Not the titles that you could have. That's the crazy thing about confederate petition. It's not even about what you have. It's what you might have based on the things that you have, okay? So it's a little bit of an um, ethereal concept. Let's go a little bit more of a bespectral like, place that's... Uh, uh, perfect. Look at this. This is a great place to explain this. So, we're in the realm view. Let's pretend we are the Count of Dicken or whatever. 
how, however this is being pronounced. Let's pretend we're that count. Now we want to become a duke. That's your first thing. Like you want to become a duke so you can have, you can have multiple counties. If you die with multiple counties before you become a duke, the counties are going to be split amongst your heirs. Yeah? <laughs> Jesus. Right. So looking at this, we would check what's the next best uh, duchy title we can have. So we check, okay, we are actually part of this duchy. So we probably, because we already have one bit of this duchy, would try and take more of this duchy and then usurp the title. So as we build toward that, we would need to make sure that when we start on this journey, that we are capable of uh, getting that. Early on, if you're a count and you have succession and you lose a county or two to your brothers, that's not a problem. You can you can usually have alliances outside that you then call in to conquer back what your brothers took in succession. That's like the first few successions, maybe the first one or two, that when that happens. Then, by then, you might already be a duke, and then you don't need to worry about your county titles anymore. Because even if you lose them, as long as they're within the same duchy, they will be remain your vassals. Okay, now let's think bigger. Now we have the duchy. Now we want another duchy and another duchy because we want to create a, a kingdom title. Problem. Kingdom titles are a little bit harder to get than duchy titles. So what I suggest what you do is first you see, okay, what kingdom title? In this case, uh, the Kham of Tibet or the, yeah, the, the kingdom of Kham in the emperor of Tibet. That's the next best kingdom title that you could create in this situation. What do you need for it? You need 13 de jure counties and 425 gold. That's what you need to have. Sometimes, depending on where you are, it might be easier to go through the... Um, th there is a decision found in your new kingdom that might be cheaper depending on where you are, uh, might be more obtainable. But this is usually pretty good. Because it doesn't require you to have multiple duchy titles or something like that. It just requires you to have 13 counties of this de jure area. That's achievable, even as a duke. Now, if you want to remain a duke with only one duchy to your name, you can achieve it. But you need to be sure that two things. When you take land, only take land either from a duchy that already exists... Like, you could take here, you could take there, and there. All these duchies are already perfectly fine. They exist, no problem, you can take from them. Except for the last county. Leave the last county, so the duke that already has the title keeps the duchy title. It will not be created. So if you have a succession, your brothers will inherit, uh, or rather your sons will inherit equally the counties in these places, but there will only be one duke. But, let's say this duchy wasn't created yet, and you take enough of this duchy to create it, let's say it takes five counties, uh, three out of five counties, and you have that, this, this duchy will then be created and become independent from you with all the counties in it. And then you have to fight a war to take it back. Okay? So there's a difference who you can attack and where you can go. If you are attacking into the territory of a duchy that has not yet been created, do not take so much land, like down here, this one isn't created yet. Do not take more than two de jure counties from that particular duchy. Once you have two, look for another place to go. If it hasn't been created, because if you take three on succession, this will be created and it will split away from your, uh, from your duchy that you're holding. That's how it works. Alright? On created titles, doesn't matter. They, they, they won't be taken away from their current holder. But they will be created. And this goes all the way up to Empire. So as long as you're in Confederate Petition, be sure that the title, the highest you hold, there aren't any around in your territory that could be created. Because you hold enough. Oh, thank you so much for the follow and welcome! Hakon Strax Ud Umgrun. That's a mouthful. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's hear it back again. Captain Bira. Try again. Tell me what you understood. And then 
Well, keep at it. This is so important. Is that the most important thing that you can ever understand about this game? I swear. Once it makes... Once it clicks. I am telling you, you need to be very mindful of how you paint maps early. Early. The second you are out of confederate partition. Be it in partition, high partition, primogenitor, anything but confederate partition. Once you're out of that. Then you can start painting maps. Then it won't matter too much. Because only in Confederate Partition are new titles going to be created out of thin air splintering your empire. When you paint maps, of course, there might still be uprisings, there might still be factions trying to take all this stuff back from you and split it apart. That might be the case. But they're not going to just fall apart on succession anymore. One big thing to keep in mind, though. If you create, if you personally hold multiple titles of the same rank, the highest rank. So if we go into partition and we have two empires that we have created and hold personally, it'll still split. But if we just hold the territory of an empire that we could create, it's fine. Because it's not no longer being created for them out of thin air. So, just don't create all those crazy titles. So not to get fucked, <laughs> brothers, you need to not take enough land to create new titles. Yes, because then they will split up when you die. Yes, exactly. Exactly. That is right. You got it. Once you're out of Confederate, that doesn't matter anymore. Then it matters what titles did you create. That's what's going to be split. Oh man, you have questions? Give it to me. That's what I'm here for. Love it. <laughs> Most important thing here, really. Understanding succession is make it or break it in this game. If you do not understand it, you're going to, you're going to have a bad time. It's the worst. I swear. I, I remember trying to wrap my hat around all this in Crusader Kings 3. It was disastrous. Okay, if, for example, you get a duchy, that is your own, yeah? Good start. That's where you want to go. Let me find some other place. I think down here is pretty cool as well. And I get another duchy that I give to my son. Yeah, that splits your realm immediately. Because as a duke, yes, as a duke, you cannot rule over other dukes. They are your peers, not your vassals. You can't, as a duke, you cannot have any dukes as your vassals. You can only have counts as your vassals. What happens if another person owns the land, but I own the title? <sighs> well, then you have claims on it, but it would still be split. So, um, you would still lose the other duchy title. And your son is pro one of your sons is probably whoever gets that other duchy title is gonna get a piece of your land anyway, so they will just maybe become a one county duke, but they're gonna take the the duchy title and the county, and they're gonna be independent. Doesn't matter uh, if if another person owns the land of that duchy, even if they own all the land of that duchy, it doesn't matter, as long as you have land to give to your sons. They are going to take the duchy title with land. So, uh, for example, in, in our succession right now, which I find really curious. I don't actually know exactly how that's going to work. These are unlanded. None of these are a count. They're just going to get a duchy title. I don't quite know what that means. Will they get a little county in the duchy? I don't know. We'll see. And we'll see soon, as we as we know. So, uh, that's it. What happens if another person... Oh, you're right. I already answered that. Got it? Should we increase this? Rulers can change between available partition succession laws. I think we should. We don't have another partition law yet, but we might eventually. So when I start to give land to other persons, I should rush the kingdom. Uh, right. That's a good question. 
It depends. See, the thing is, so they don't get independent. The thing is really, it's, um, if you want to have multiple duchies as your vassal, you need to be a king, yes. If you, however, do it like I did in this playthrough, again, it starts over on the YouTube, uh, there, there's a, if anyone wants to have the link, you can just uh, type in exclamation mark links. Um, th the thing is, if you are smart about your expansion as a duke, like what we did, we knew, okay, we have the Duchy of Leinster. That was what we had. And then we started just taking pieces of duchies around us, but never enough to have that title created if it wasn't already created. Or we took land from dukes that already had land. And then we pushed the duke into one county and it doesn't matter anymore. Because while they have claims on this stuff that we took, they're too weak to do anything about it. And the partition didn't break us apart because our kids only got county titles. Because there was no duchy to be created and the duchies that could have been created already existed and belonged to someone. And that way they don't get independent because they are maximum account. And that way, even as a duke, you could, theoretically, if you're smart about it, you could have multiple, I'm not going to say because you have a vassal limit, that's, that's for sure, but as a duke, you could have easily 30, 40 county vassals. Easily, if you're smart about it, without ever splintering your, uh, your, your little duchy. It's going to look terrible <laughs> because you only ever have pieces everywhere. But it's doable with confederate partition. You just got to be smart about it. So your best friend early on is this view, the duchy title view. So this duchy, for example, that hasn't been created. If you're in Leinster, you can take pieces from Meath, you can t uh, take pieces from Munster, you can take pieces from duchy Ulf Ulster until there's one county left. In Connacht, a maximum of one. Because you only need two titles for it to be created. <laughs> I insult you by proposing border war. Um, yes, I also feel insulted about that. I, I, I am fully with you. Fully with you on that one. It is horrible. It doesn't look nice at all. But this way you get the strength you need to quickly snatch up a kingdom title. Once you're big enough, without having to worry about your stuff falling apart. And then, then you can go ahead and get all the rest of the duchies. And then you do the same thing over, but with kingdom titles in mind now. Once you're a king, that's a different matter. Now you only have to worry about this view. Yeah? So you could, as Ireland, as we did, you could take some pieces of Wales. Not too many. Only six. Because this is not created. Alba... That's created. You can take everything except one. Wessex? Eh, that's not created. You can only take eight. So you don't run into the problem of potentially this going out. England? That's created. You can take everything but one. Alright? That's just... That's how you grow. And then when you have enough of all that, then you can become an empire. And then you can consolidate. And get rid of the border gore. <laughs> and then, once you're an empire... Like we are. Now this is the view I have to worry about. So wherever I go, I need to be sure I don't take too much of that. But empires are big, clearly. So we have a lot more leeway, a lot of more options in how we grow. Yeah? So Frankia, for example, in this playthrough here, Frankia is going to have a problem. If they are still confederate petition. Which they might not be. But uh, I think they have enough to form Italy. So if we look at that, if we look at Italy, 15 de jure counties. I'm pretty sure they have that. Pretty sure they have that. If we look at this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, they, they have definitely 15 counties. So this, once he dies, and they're still on confederate petition, that's going to split away. Oh, wait, no, sorry. Uh, excuse me. No, no, no. He is an emperor. The kingdom will be created. It will be created. It's not going to split away. 
only... Wait, I am on Empire View. Okay. Okay, he needs 42 Azure counties. I don't think he has that yet. But if he had more, and he's not far off, he's he's very close to that, having 42 Azure counties, I think. I don't know quite how many he has. It's, it's a bit difficult to count, but I think he's very, 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 very close. So he might actually lose all this in in uh, in succession. He's very close. He needs to be careful. He can't take all that much more down here in Italy. All right. So never form more than one title of your own rank until you get rid of confederate. Yes, but the formation of the title isn't the problem. The formation of the title will remain a problem until you get into into one of the single air single realm heirs. So if you if you create two empire titles, that's a problem. As long as you are in multiple realm heirs. As long as you're in this row, array, uh, row you cannot have either you have it created or it could be created. You cannot have multiple top rank titles. You cannot. Or it is going to split away. If you create it, it's going to go away. If you could create it but you just haven't, it's going to be created and it's going to go away. As long as you're here. the The confederate is the... If you could create it, but you haven't, it's going to be created. That's the worst. In partition, if you create it, then it's going to go away. If you just never create it, but you could, that's fine in partition. So, if, for example, you have the Kingdom of Ireland. Yeah, let's go back to Ireland. Let's go for examples. Yeah, we have the Kingdom of Ireland. Let's say we have. We do, but... And you get enough land to create the Kingdom of Scotland. It is a big no-no. It is a big no-no as long as you're in confederate partition. Correct. The second you get into partition, no longer a problem as long as you do not create the title. If you can just create it, it's fine. Doesn't matter. Only confederate partition is so punishing. But if you have enough land to create Scotland, Bondachi means Gucci. <laughs> uh, but if you have enough land to create Scotland minus one duchy uh, not, not necessarily minus one duchy you need to read carefully what the requirements for the kingdom are it might not be as cut and dry as just have one duchy less like Wales for example uh, I'm not quite sure how many duchies they have let's see um Okay, they have three duchies, but each duchy is different size. Yeah, so um, I, I wouldn't say that's that's super accurate. But if you check the kingdom requirements, uh, just press shift W or click down here. Then you get the little flags and you can click on it. And you can see just have less than seven du jour. That's all you need to know. Doesn't matter how many duchies you have. Completely irrelevant. Yeah. Just make sure you don't go above six duchies. That's what you need to look at. This number here. How do you change partition law? Yes. Uh, by the way, good evening, Edgar Hilario. Nice to have you back as well. So how do we do that? <laughs> it's a pain. It's a pain. Okay. So partition, why can't we change this here? Tooltips are your friend, of course. Um, we haven't researched this yet. Like, the Red Cross tells you you have not actually researched it. Sadly, the tooltip doesn't come up here. Usually it would, but in this one window it doesn't. So you have to go down to change law. Why can't you do it? It says you do not have limited crown authority. So we don't have the crown authority right now. We need to do that. The Irish culture does not have the hereditary rule innovation. So... This is not a, you cannot have it, but rather it says, you don't have it, so you don't get it. So we have to wait for the, um, for the innovations here. And the, I think the hereditary rule one is in the early medieval ages, right there. This you need to unlock. And then you can move through here. 
And it's the same for all the others as well. Uh, they all need something. Like this one needs primogeniture in innovation. And I think that's really late. Uh, that might actually be late medieval. So until late medieval, you're going to be in partition. You might have something else like house seniority. That certain cultures have that. Sure. Uh, but uh, yeah. Everything else, you're going to be stuck in partition for a while. Just don't create more titles. In Confederate, don't conquer enough to have titles created. And after that, just don't create titles of the same highest rank that you are. Edgar Hilario, we're going to look at the Insulism faith in a moment. No worries. Just, I want to get the succession thing really locked down right now. So, Captain Bira, what have you understood? <laughs> let's hear it again. Let's, let's give it back to me. See if I did a better job this time. I think we're gonna... Uh, should we increase this? Nah, doesn't really matter right now. Uh, while we wait for Captain Bureau to give it back, we can look at Instagram and Faith. There you go, Edgar Hilario. Hope that helps. And again, we're not going to create a new Christian faith. <laughs> That's not going to happen. Okay, uh, while we wait a little bit, what's going on here? I understood that if I have the requisite to make a same level title and don't make it, I'm stupid. And if I make it, I'm stupid too. Okay, we are almost there. You're almost there. The first bit is only a problem if you have confederate petition. The second is always a problem in petition. Okay? So the first one you can get out of by moving up in the petition to petition or high petition. The second one is always going to be a problem as long as you are in petition. Doesn't matter if it's confederate, petition or high petition. I mean, it says here in High Partition, uh, the lion's share of the titles will go with you to a player heir, so it might not be that much of a problem here, but I think if it's the same rank title, so Empire and Empire, it's just going to be split again. I'm pretty sure. I wouldn't say you're stupid, it's just... So why would you want to make the titles? You wouldn't. You wouldn't. You really wouldn't. I mean... It's, it's kind of silly because the titles themselves, they're already set up in a way where they are prohibitively expensive, usually, early game. Like, look at us. We can't afford anything. We, ca we can't afford to make more titles. It's not a noob trap. Um, I mean, yeah, kind of. Um, but the game kind of discourages you already. Oh, we know, we're, we're, we're going to live. No succession yet. <laughs> We're gonna live, but we're not married because our wife was taken by the invaders. Uh, let's see. Alliance power. Oh, the kingdom of Leon. No, thank you. We're already allied with them. The Duchy of Rab. 3,761. Okay. I'll take that. Take a moment for her to grow into it, but that's okay. Um, so the titles themselves are already so expensive that it doesn't really help you. How do you deal with the vassals with the legitimate lord thing? Yeah. <laughs> now we're getting into the weeds of it. Uh, you don't. Basically, you have to fight them. You have to make them see reason. Other ways. There is a way. You can go ahead and you can use the integrate title thing here. That takes forever. But if you integrate title, their de jure liege doesn't matter anymore. They are going to be integrated into what you are. And they're going to see you as, you, as their de jure liege, no matter what they started out as. But it's going to take, like, decades. This is a really, 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 really slow process. That's the best you can do. Besides fighting them, befriending them, making sure they don't do anything weird. No. Okay, our alliance is secured. Very good. Why we... We, we earn so much, so little money. Yes, my dear Duchess, please come to court. Why do you not bring money? Bring us money. We need money. Oh, yes! Oh, we 
can ask the Pope for money. Yes, Pope, please. Please give us gold. Yes, we'll use it wisely. Trust me. Uh, we're gonna go build something. We need we need we need to build something in gore. We're, while we were talking about border gore, it is perfectly well uh, that we build something here. Let's build something that gives us money. We need money more than anything else. Oh, a trade port. Gives also development growth. That's great. We'll build that. And now we're super poor. <laughs> Not super poor, but we're, we're up there. Or down there, rather. Okay, so this guy, the Duchy of Rab that we just allied with, is immediately calling us to war because, oh my god. What the hell did you do? Ah, oh, he might be able to deal with it himself, I think. Also, once my friend that plays a lot of CK3 told me that if I struggle a lot with that, I can get Sadis as a trade and simply kill my sons. Is that so good? Oh my god. Okay. Listen, um, I don't know why your friend tells you to uh, make your life harder, but I wouldn't. Do you know what that does? That gives you the Kinslayer, the Murderer and Kinslayer. Uh, it's, um, it's a whole nother can of worms you start dealing with. Now, I admit, and I will tell freely, that I have a problem in so far that uh, the way I play the game is not optimized at all. Like, there are ways of getting out of succession to reducing who can... What? Oh, it was already fulfilled. All right, okay, fine. Um, there are ways of getting your sons out of succession, not necessarily just by killing them, honestly. That's a bit harsh. Uh, what you could do is, if you are a Christian faith that has manorialism is what it's called, which I don't think we have in insularism. I know, monasticism, sorry, not manorialism, monasticism. So if we have that, uh, you can ask your son under certain circumstances, meaning they cannot be married or betrothed or have land. So if they're unlanded by the time, and, and unmarried and unbetrothed, by the time they reach 15 or 16, you can go ahead and uh, put them up to be a monk. <sighs> Conquer half of Europe in two years. But maybe that's not, yeah. okay. Listen, <laughs> I don't know if players who play like this remember how it was starting out in the game. I, I don't know if they remember that because I guarantee you when they started out playing the game, they didn't do that. But now that they know and understand the basics, they can do that. But if you don't understand the basics, you're never going to get to that point where you can do that. That's my problem with all these tutorials and guides and everything. That's that's my thing. That's why I started all this. Because I don't like the way it's just, do this and this and that. Okay, sure, but what if the circumstances are different than what you show in that video? And they always are. So... You need to understand the mechanics. And then, eventually, you can do all this crazy stuff. Sure. I don't. Because I'm not good enough for that, probably. But I also don't care to play like that. I don't find that very interesting, uh, to me personally. But I don't think you need to know any of that to play well, either. Like, that's just not, that's not a prerequisite. With my limited knowledge on the game, I'm still doing well, <laughs> having a great time. Uh, so, no. I do, I wouldn't do that. You want to pass the 900 year mark. And we're gonna get you there. That is my promise to you. You and I, we're gonna get you to the 900 year mark without killing your sons. Because honestly, like that's what I think is, yes, you can take all the negatives, you can... You can really bug yourself down with all that stuff. Make it a little bit harder for you. If you deal with it, fine, great. But I think <laughs> dealing with the difficulties that come from not doing it, that's a challenge in itself. It's just a different challenge. It's not that one way is better than the other, I don't think. It's just a different type of challenge that you're facing. 
And I think understanding how succession works and just working around it and with it, that's that's great. Also, you told you I can put them into the army and hope they die probably is hurtful for you. Um, yeah, you can do that, but that was way more effective in Crusader Kings 2. And Crusader Kings 3, unless they are brave, uh, brave increases the chance of dying in an army by like 100% or something, uh, you're gonna have to do that a lot. A whole lot. Uh, th th probably the chances are higher that they're going to be captured. And you don't want that to happen. Because that's a whole other can of worms. <laughs> that just costs you money in the end. And they might not die in there. So. In Crusader Kings 2 there were many many ways to get rid of your child. Uh, something that is not really in the game was like spread of sickness. You could see it on the map. And what you could do was appoint someone to your council, and since you could put counselors on the map like little playing pieces, you could just put your counselor and throw them in the map on the map where the Black Death was raving, and then your your counselor is probably gonna contract it and die. You know, th there were many more ways of getting rid of people in Crusader Kings 2 than there are in Crusader Kings 3. <laughs> um so I have learned in Crusader Kings 3 how to deal with succession. Understand it deal with it, work around it. That's that's the best I can tell you to do. Because that's how I play. Again, like uh, let's let's check our kids, yeah? So this this one here, if we if we live to see him to come to age 15 and we don't give him a rank or anything, uh we will be able to tell him later to uh ask to take the vows. So actually, it only needs to be 10. That's pretty cool. That is because we have monasticism in our religion. And then, when he's a monk, he's out of succession. Which is good, but also bad, because all your other heirs die, and you have no one left. Well, then, you're kind of dead in the water. So, you know, there's always this balancing act, kind of. Our cat is keeping the castle rat free, that's great. But do you understand succession now? Do you feel content in next time you're playing that you're not gonna have a splintered realm fully i think you i think you put it much more simpler than i did uh in in how you repeated it back to me in partition in confederate partition do not own enough land so that titles might be created and do not create titles of the same rank as you are Meaning usually Duke, because as a count, that's not really a choice you have. You have multiple counties, and then you need to become a Duke to keep those all together. Also, what if I expand in a way that there will be partition and independence, but I make sure that they will be weaker than me, and I can just take them back? Perfectly valid strategy. I have done this. Absolutely. That's a perfect way. But of course, to do that, you need to understand how things are going to splinter. But absolutely, because all your children will have a fully pressed claim. Well, all your or your male children, anyway. Uh, once they are coming of age, basically they get this an implicit claim. All of them get that. Uh, so they will have this claim always. I don't know how that way, but I will figure it out on the middle of the game. <laughs> um. It is doable uh, if you go just by county size, especially in the early start. Most counties are pretty much the same, so you don't need to really look at, ooh, what's the development level of this county? Because they're all kind of, see, 9, 10, 12, whatever. Oh, I need to drink something. Give me a moment. Ooh. Better. <coughs> oh. oh, boy. Early on, doesn't really matter. All counties are more or less the same. More or less. You still might want to prefer counties that have a lot of baronies in them to keep for yourself. But all you need to check, basically, is um, what county... Like, ensure you have more counties at the end. But even if you don't, with outside alliances, you can still just overwhelm them. You don't have to have the manpower. You can just get the manpower somewhere else. 
Okay, very good. We are married again. I still might want to go take our wife back, but financially speaking, <laughs> we really can't. So let's check our, our uh, succession again, because we are not going to lose any of our counties here, which I like. I don't quite understand why not, because I think the reason is there are duchy titles for them to get. So they're not going to lower themselves to take our county titles. They're just going to take duchy titles. Perfectly fine by me. So we could even go and build Gloucester out a little bit uh, to get some more money out of here. But we don't have that much more money to spend. And right now we're already a bit of a pickle. We need a bigger war chest. Like, we can't really build anything. But we also do need to go to war to kind of siege, get some prisoners, you know? I don't know. Nickname the Brilliant. My liege, have you heard what they call you? Okay. So we are the Brilliant. Alright. So I just need to make sure that I will not spawn a, count a country as powerful as mine. Basically, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Don't create a title, same as your top level title. If you're a duke, do not create another duchy title. If you're a duke, in confederate partition, do not take enough land so a duchy title could be created. That's it. And then just extrapolate this for all the other titles. I think I should write that down. That's very concise. I don't think I ever put it that concisely. Uh, let me, let me, let me, let me find somewhere to write that down real quick. So, uh, what did I say? Never create a title of your same top title rank. Example. If you're a duke, do not create another duchy. And if you're on confederate partition, do not take enough land that a duchy title could be created. That's it, I think. That's, that's, that's pretty much it, yeah. All those explanations, boiling down to two sentences, kind of. I don't think I will ever make it more concise. Maybe more clear, but not more concise. We gain beauteous language. Oh, amount of few letters. Sure. I mean, read the words of his emperor. Ah, we could get some learning here, but we're paranoid. <laughs> it would stress us out. Uh, uh, Nah, it's fine. We, we get beauteous language. That's fine. Oh, I don't care so much. Oh, by the way, we're having too many held duchies, which is a problem. <laughs> that is a problem. Uh, so one of our kids, the, the younger one, this one, you get... Oh, no, the Petty King of Wessex. Okay, so we're going to give him the, the title and see what happens. Let's give him the Petty Kingdom of Seville. I cannot because he must hold the county. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. The kingdom here fell apart. That's great. I have a claim on you. Oh. I have a truce? This guy with this particular guy? Okay. I can just press this claim and he has what? Oh. Okay. Why is this so expensive? Different religion, different dynasty. Okay, boy, holy. Also, remember, you're going to kill the Norwegian king for... Yeah, I... <laughs> yeah. I don't think it was the king even. I think it was just one of his vassals, honestly. And it wasn't the Norwegian either. It was it was the Danish. Like, where is our wife? There she is. And she is there. She is the woman of this guy this guy let's go with that there she is so we need to take that but the problem is I can't get there with my army 
Not not easily, anyway. It's gonna cost us a lot of money to get our troops there. You know? Though we could let everyone else fight. We could just not send anything. We could just let Brittany do it and Leon do it. But they're super involved in their battle still. So I don't think that's gonna happen. Hmm. What else can we do down here? Nothing. So why do I still have a truce with you? Because he was the king before, I think. That's why we still have a truce here. How long will our... Huh? I don't have a truce. Oh, there's more. <laughs> it's just not showing up here. Uh, there. In seven months. Okay, we will wait seven months. That's fine. Like to see I'm not the only one taking it personal. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Listen, I'm not king shaming, yeah? If you're into that, perfectly fine. No problem. But I didn't agree to this. I didn't consent to this. And I think kink is fundamentally about consent. <laughs> so I'm not I'm not up for this. Uh others need my gold more than I do. Are you freaking kidding me? Now, you know all the things that we already are? Look at all our terrible traits. We are improvident, we are drunkard, we are reclusive, we are melancholic, we are scarred, uh, we are disfigured. Let's also become a flagellant. So we just beat the heck out of ourselves uh, for all the sins that we are committing. Let's just, let's really drive that home. So you're indulgent vestral? Okay, you're not great. But let's get you married. That's something at least. Thank you, very good. Do we have something we can sell? Something we can destroy? The Umayyad versus. Can't destroy that. Okay, Liberty War was invalidated. Good stuff, because this kingdom here broke the heck apart. The kingdom of Leon is only this, and we are allied to them now. Oh my lord. Things are happening here. So we have the Regalia. Another question. What is the difference between lover and soulmate? I always try to get a soulmate because I want my character to be happy. Oh, look at you. I like that. Um, the difference between lover and soulmate is you can have many lovers, but you can only have one soulmate. Uh, it's also, I think, a, th a stronger connection. Okay. Everyone, don't judge me. Usually, I do not take the pelt. But this is a green pelt. If we destroy it, it gives us 80 gold. And it costs us 11 gold to make it. Do not judge me. Not for this. Do not judge me for this. Um, It's a court artifact. I'm not gonna hang it on the wall. I think that is in bad taste. That is in very bad taste. But that's 80 gold... For 11. That's a super high ROI. That's something business bros lose sleep over. <laughs> okay, and there's also now a Northman conquest of Brittany going on. Uh, no, it's not a visual difference. Um, the soulmate will have a better, better connection to you. They will have a higher opinion bonus than a lover. And they are probably like almost certainly not going to join anything against you. I'm pretty sure that that doesn't happen. Do we help against the Northmen? We can't afford to raise our troops is all. I mean, we... Okay, we can afford to raise some of our troops. Whoops. Another call to war. <laughs> okay, sure. I'm coming. Trust me, I'm there. I just gotta find people under the cushions here. Once I have the people on the cushions, I'm going to come. So what we're going to do is we're going to... Uh, we'll, hmm, we'll raise our local army and our men-at-arms. Maybe we can afford that. Hardly. Hardly. But then at least we can come help. Costs us even more gold to get there. Oh. Well, on my Indian game, I'm gonna get my soulmate freaking her. 
Oh, really? Okay, that's that's silly. Were, were they lustful, potentially? Because that is something soulmates should definitely, like, prevent, I feel. That feels like that shouldn't happen. That feels like something went wrong, like, on a, on a technical level. I don't think that's right. Nope. Okay. Huh. Couldn't tell ya. I won't say I've never seen it because... I generally don't pay that much attention, I must admit. So we'll attach our army here and we'll lose some money. <laughs> but maybe we can help. You think she was brave and generous? I mean, she was brave to betray her soulmate and generous to the other dude. So it's kind. It kind of tracks, kind of tracks, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, fifty-five percent chance he dies. Let's go. Time to slither away like a snake. <laughs> Didn't work, and he lost some opinion of us. Wouldn't know why. Uh, we gained smelly court. Event timed out. Foul smell. Oh, darn. Didn't look. I didn't see. In the dissolution war. Sure. Okay. I'm, I'm coming to all the wars. <laughs> we're, we're so bad. We're such a horrible, horrible person. I swear. Let's get Iron Constitution. We definitely need it. With all we got going on, we definitely need it. Let's go make some decisions here. Let's go seclude ourselves. Goodbye. Be a little bit at peace. Let's indulge in some drink. Nah, we're we're good on the stress right now. We're not gonna we're not gonna do everything bad. So reclaim Britannia. All of your powerful vassals have a culture with Brythonic or Goidilic heritage. So Brythonic or Goidilic heritage is Irish or British. So does that include these guys? Your bully and king. What? <laughs> okay. Um, so he's Irish. Does it say who doesn't fulfill this? All of your powerful vassals. Okay. So, who are the powerful... Oh, this guy. This guy is for sure not Irish. Yeah. <laughs> that guy ain't Irish. How many bad traits do you have? Poor guy, let him... <laughs> I mean, that's uh, one, two, three, four, five. Scar is okay. Six, seven. I mean, he's brilliant still. So I think he can. He can do it. Oh, we got tax jurisdictions now because we have we have clan vassals. How we need to do this? They're not paying any taxes right now. Uh, this guy can do it. A point. Get me some taxes in here. Do I need to appoint someone here? No. Three out of 12 taxpayers are in there. Wait a moment. Am I getting money now? Am I earning money now? Yeah. Yes, he is shy. He's shy and paranoid. He's... He's even worse than me in real life. <laughs> He's like the most introvert recluse that you could ever find. At least in the Middle Ages. I think Brittany is kind of lost. I'm not gonna lie. It's not looking good for them. So I would like to get rid of these guys as my direct vassals. We need to get... Okay. Hmm... 
Okay. Okay, let me check something. So, this guy is a strong vassal. So, he's... He's Anglo-Saxon. That should be fine. West Germanic heritage. Okay, that's probably not fine. Ah, uh, I don't know. Okay, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for the great, great questions. I hope I helped you a little bit. And I'm super curious to hear how your next uh, attempt is going to work out. And good luck on the, on the preps for the classes. Thanks for being here. Appreciate it. Have a great evening. Or day or whatever it is. You know. <laughs> Have a great something. All right. Oh, we're no longer wounded. Hooray. Good for us. Too many held duchies. Yeah, I oh, know. Can I just destroy a title? We'll just destroy it. Oh! The Emir wants to purchase a truce from us. Another 10 years so we can't attack him. Uh, it's a lot of money, but I don't see it. Oh, you, you think I'm a warmonger? I haven't even attacked you yet. You'll see how much of a warmonger I am once I do. Ah, uh, let's move our troops off of this because he's not moving somewhere where we can actually re reconstitute our health. Oh, maybe we don't go there. I don't want to be jumped on by the... by these guys. Our daughter learned the Arabic language. Okay, fine. Defeat. That's a big shame. That was down here, I think. Oh, man. There's more wars being lost that we're involved in. This hasn't been going well. Ever since succession happened, we're not doing great in wars. You want an artifact, eh? Uh-huh. You want this? Honestly, I don't even want this. Have it. I don't care. Uh, let's hold some court. Here's some petitioners. First one, please. Yes, come up. I will not tolerate adulterers in our court. See? We'll do this, and we'll try and imprison them. So we can ransom them back. <laughs> Probably to themselves. Are we updating you on my next gameplay? Probably Ireland too. Yeah, let's go. Let's have Ireland too. Very good. Uh, let's see. Successfully convinced Ethelwald to drop the matter. We're not very diplomatic. Let's go with this. Gain some dread. Gain some opinion. Yep, that worked. Uh, give your formal approval? No. Refuse the request from the Anglo-Saxons. Uh, go away. Be displeased peasants. It matters not. Not to me. Let's speed up these foreign wars which we are embroiled in. Could just throw our, our army at this lot here and die. And not win at all. Who is in this war? I no, not these guys. Just them? Us? And whoever that is. I don't know where is he. Okay, that's him and he's not coming. <laughs> so that army is not part of that war. But they just won this war, Leon. And we were part of it, so we get a little bit of prestige out of it. And the King of Brittany does kind of like us for it. So now we can join up with the British Britannian troops, troops again, link up, and then let him do his thing. Maybe it goes attack, maybe it doesn't. Hopefully he does. But I don't think he will. A noble guest has arrived. All the defeats are slowly rolling in now. 
Yes, the Duke, he brings money. Show him, show him in at once and we forgive him everything. It's fine. Our language is very difficult. Let's go. Oh, we can ask the Pope for money again. This is how you grow early on. Okay, so... Uh, this sounds like a you problem. Uh... Uh, listen, brother, I have no money. Okay, we can't stand down here because we need to be in a friendly area. So we have to spend money to stay our troops down. Yes, my choices are extremely great and I will not hear anything against it. It's... All perfectly reasonable. Uh, no. My heart remains pure. Go away. Do not entice me. You harlot. Or as my uh, Scottish friends say, uh -huh. Okay, everyone, everyone is kind of losing everything. And we can stand on our troops finally. And we're earning money again because we found someone to tax the clans. <laughs> All right. Uh, needs a successor, I don't care. So now we could go attack this guy. But honestly, he's... he's that's, not, that's not half bad. What does he have? Heavy infantry, light infantry, bowmen and unaga. And his friend has a lot of horses, a lot of everything. Like, I think one of the problems in our army is we do not have actually any bowmen. So, what alliances are left to us? This here is a is a mess. Would the Franks not maybe like an alliance? Maybe our nephew? No? Uh, maybe... Maybe our daughter? No. Wait. There at the bottom, you have them. My nephew? Okay, you don't want that. Maybe one of my sons? No? Maybe the older nephew? Or did I try the older nephew before? Why not? I have too many existing alliances. But they're all internally, for the greatest part. And they're all kind of ha horrible. <laughs> all right. Okay. Let's see. We can bring 13,000. Our claims on this right there. 313. How many troops does Denmark have at the moment? 4,000. So they have more. And better ones, too. And it's not even all. Sir Finchalot, we did get affiliate. Can you believe it? And welcome. Good evening. We did it. We done did it. Uh, Saturday, actually. Yeah, Saturday. Did it. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh... It's amazing. I didn't think it, the worst, the craziest thing, the craziest thing is like I I go live Saturday, first guy in, uh he he's a really cool dude, comes in just subs and five gift subs right right out of the gate. I thought, okay, so now we made it to affiliate kind of slowly. We did it. Thank you so much. I figured okay that's gonna take a while now to to have like a subscriber or something, right there. And uh, another um, friend of the channel also subbed later. It's blowing my mind here. Completely insane. <laughs> I didn't think it would work. So, that's so cool. Alrighty, what do we do? What do we do? I think attacking him is the best option right now. Our claims. Uh, 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 uh. Money wise, not great for us. But we 
could potentially beat him ourselves. So we'll raise all here. Set him to do that. And who do we call in? West Trinconia? That's kind of close at least. So 150 will bring him in. And we'll cross... We can't cross directly. Well, we can actually. Will he get the jump on us? No. Luckily, he doesn't. That's always a, a bit of a dangerous situation there coming up. That's brilliant. Alright, thank you so much for uh, dropping by for a second. Have a great evening and see you around. I appreciate it. Okay, let's let's catch him before he can catch up with his ally, maybe. That might not be possible. They're a little bit quicker than us. Why oh, are you kidding me? Why is this bad for us? And why did I take that battle? I mean, somewhat even. We're sort of winning. But he just got some more troops right there. So that's a problem. Now we're losing. Oh, how close. I hate it. That was a silly decision. Ah, uh, we're losing a bunch of people here. Let's get some more friends in. So he's... A, yeah, he's better that than what he could be. Let's get our son and uh, heir in here. And we need a spy master. And he's actually pretty good. And he's a strong vassal, so might as well put him in. Very bad loss. Completely pointless. Shouldn't have done that. Well-deserved loss, let's say. Well-deserved loss, for sure. Okay, he's fighting a different war there. No, wait, that's mine. Hold up now, that's mine. You're attacking my stuff. That's not a different war. Okay, so it's just balanced. Look at that. The reason it's balanced because he just has a higher quality. Like, our commander is better. We're defending our territory. But just because his army is better than ours, higher quality, they still have a good chance of winning it. Our ally is now coming in, but that's kind of insane. Okay, we get the war banner. That's cute because we don't have anything to hang on the walls yet. And it's a nice little backup piece of money. So we'll take it for sure. And Prince Connellan, our son, has died. That was our heir, wasn't it? Yep. And we're overwhelmed with stress now. Understandable. Let's go siege his capital. Maybe we get a good... Uh, a good... Something out of it. Carefree, restraint. Let's go for carefree. I think we need stress reduction more than anything. And he just became chancellor too. Man. A legitimate bastard of our family. Ah, uh, let's put in this guy here. He's the next competent, most competent one. So we'll get that in there. Get it ready. Um, negotiate an alliance. King Gregory. Our player and vassal. Oh, right. He inherited this stuff now, didn't he? Earldom of Derby. Okay, very cool. So now I can give him the duchy. That's great. He has a lot of earldoms now. Uh, yeah, let's, let's have that alliance. Sure. And now I can give him the duchy of... Seville. I can't give him that because he doesn't stand to inherit it. I don't want to give him Essex. Ah, oh, well, fine. We'll figure it out in a moment. I don't know where my ally is going, but it worries me a little bit. Oh, he's hunting the enemy, I think. 
But the enemy is coming for me, my dear ally. What the heck are you doing? Did our daughter not already learn this? Oh no, please ally, don't... Ah, oh. oh, great stuff. Look at that. We seized the memory of Count Garindo. Let's put some stuff in here, shall we? So we'll hang the war banner, the Granathan war banner. So everyone will see that we overcame the Granathans. And um, now we shall take care of this, a feline hunter. I think I found the reason why some of these are rat free than others. Oh, we get another cat. Yes. We lost our cat. I like another cat, please. Thank you. We took some prisoners here. Are these good? Are you worthwhile? Are you No, you're just worth money. You're the best kind of prisoner. Because you're worth a lot of money. Thank you. And it will have no. This one will be called Spooky. Something historical. Spooky is historical. <laughs> Okay, so he's not attacking us, he's sieging. Is something you can do, for sure. That's an internal war, I don't need to worry about that. At least not for our war, as it stands. There's some gold to be had. All this is fine here. Our ally is coming back, and hopefully not doing silly things anymore. What's our development level here? 17. It's, it's coming along now. It's coming along. Control isn't super high. But that's okay. Alright. And now we go fight them again. We'll try anyway. So we have a Forder. Okay. He's coming for our ally again. And our ally is an absolute fool. Oh, actually he isn't. What is he doing? Uh, a regular parade should suffice. Uh, yeah, Sarah will see the soldiers everywhere she goes. Crowded cow de vassal. Mm, she becomes more susceptible to dread. What's that? Just that a military could ensure continued loyalty of... of of her? Of her? She has nothing. A regular parade should suffice. Let's just have a parade. Okay. Now we're gonna go attack them. Give it a good insular name. Christopher. A grandson. Can we get an alliance out of him? Possibly. But I don't think so. <laughs> So our ally is coming with us this time. So we actually have a chance of winning this. On the first go around. And his army split, so that's kind of unfortunate for him. And we got another banner. Another Granathan banner. Okay. Okay, sure. I'll take it. Again, the very, at the very worst, these are money. Straight into our bank account. If we destroy them. So we have a few hostile soldiers uh, on the way around there. Oh no, I'm... Uh, ah. Shouldn't have gone there. Okay, we're just gonna go siege then. If he's running around nonsensically here, it's fine. Oh! The Kingdom of Leon has joined on their side. Okay, we need to take care of that. Let's show in the mer Earl. He he brings money. Okay, we need to cut these off before they get together. And... Yep, yep, yep. No, no, no. Oh, I'm fighting a hostile army. Oh! And they're winning! Oh! Don't go on force speed in, in combat. Just do not do it. Learn from me. Learn from me. Learn. Okay, we're gonna need to call in another ally. This is this is this is pathetic. 
absolutely pathetic our display here. I mean, our ally is coming in. Maybe he can save. No, he got caught before he ever reached us. Oh, I need to look away. This is embarrassing. Wait. Okay, he just lost some territory. Okay. Um. We'll just wait for our allies to arrive. Maybe we can turn it around. Oh. This pains me more than I can say. Let's hang another Granathan Warband. Wait! Oh, this looks a little bit cooler. How many troops does he have all of a sudden? Where did all these people come from? That's crazy. <laughs> and we can't even siege this. I mean, we can. It's just going to take forever. Man. I have to live an entire life with this person. Okay. Uh, everything she does gets on my nerves a little. Okay. Our, our wife isn't, isn't our favorite. Oh, real wife is the concubine of a... of a Dane. And now they all come south. And they will crush us. And I don't think there's really anything we can do right now. We can only run away. So let's start our journey of running away. It's just a cat. Get over it. Please let me move. Oh! The Duchy of Man. Okay, listen, listen. Okay, you're not gonna white piece out of this. Okay, listen. How much money do you have to pay? <laughs> 400 gold? Okay, I... I see allies coming. We just have to run away until the allies come for us. That's all we have to do. We could just make him our vassal. Now we're gonna fight it. Please, allies, arrive in time. Just gonna keep running. Okay, now our allies are kind of coming somewhere here. There. Okay, okay. We've got our allies now. So with our allies, once they're no longer, okay, they don't have the d disembarkation thing anymore, so maybe we can fight and win now? Oh god, that doesn't look good either. Oh god, we're losing with all our allies. Oh, okay. <sighs> we have to bite the bullet, we have to surrender, I'm sorry. We are ruining ourselves right now. Literally ruining ourselves. For nothing. For absolutely nothing. And we're gonna lose the duchy here. Oh. Oh god. And we still have too many held duchies, which is a big problem. People hate that. Okay, so we need to raise our troops, which we cannot afford, as it stands. We got wrecked and ruined. Absolute shambles. Disgraceful. And he's going to take it, and he's going to get 100% right away, isn't he? Uh. Mental resilience, mental breaks, plus three years, so that's good. Oh no, he doesn't get immediate 100%. That's nice. He still has to fight us, sort of. So one of our allies showed up already. But we're still gathering our troops, but more allies are coming. So that's nice. 
And now we can go attack them here. Which is the weaker part of the army. Of course it's going to join together. And our allies seeing the writing on the wall. And there's more coming in. By boat. Uh, we try for Cat Wrangler. Maybe we get some stress. Maybe we get some... Oh yeah, that worked out. And we're losing again. Because I took the battle too early. Should have waited more allies coming in. Uh, another Simon. Let's see. Can we get any allies that are useful through our children? Anyone. Oh, the Kingdom of Leon. That just came in and wrecked us in that other war. Oh yeah, you can bail us out now. For sure. All of you come and help right away. Oh, yes. Yes, thank you, my Pope. We are saved by the grace of God. Alright, let's hold some court. Let's try and get this done here. First petitioner, please. Thank you. Come up. Let's uh, see. What do we have? Weapon ban? Uh, I don't care about this one. I never really care. So we'll just pick this one. Something happens. I don't know. I, I don't care. <sighs> Displeased peasants. Let's go. I can't spend gold. Fifth opinion of us. We grow closer to a rivalry. Friendship. Oh. I don't care about you people at all. My business is done. I have bigger fish to fry. Or rather, I, I am the bigger fish being fried. Complete and utter wreckage of our person. Of our royal person. This is very embarrassing, I must say. Usually this isn't as bad as it is, but it is very bad right now. <laughs> oh, God. I've wasted enough time on this disaster. I mean, a friend. A mayor as a friend. I don't I don't care. I'm, I'm emperor. I don't need a mayor as my friend. The mayor should want to be my friend. Okay, yes, Duchess, please come in, even though you don't bring any money. You bring at least some court grandeur. Please join me, my dear ally. Thank you. Together we will kill... I don't know what that ally is doing. Okay, together we will kill nothing, apparently, because they're not actually coming with us. We'll go here. There are more allies coming in. Let's wait for them. Okay, he does not know what to do. Very confused, lad. I just want the little red flags to go away here. Once they're done, we attack. Okay, and immediately they go back on a ship. Good. Good. Okay, don't join me. Don't join me in battle. Go back on a ship. At least this time we're winning. Oh. Okay, we done did it. And the crazy thing about invasions like that, they don't even give you money. They don't have to pay you restitution. They just come in, they wreck your stuff, and they're like, yeah, goodbye. Okay, we're gonna keep in the bloodline dynasty with architect ancestry. So we can select the congenital traits to become more common in the dynasty. And um yeah, fecund. Doesn't help us much at the moment. Though life expectancy plus 5 years. And plus 5 years of fertility. Do not discount this. That is very strong. Hail. I personally like it. I personally like it. It's pretty good. Uh, quick of course is kind of. You know. That's a no brainer. I think Comely is the weakest of these. All these others can be good. Natural Dread plus 15. Scaly. Not sure why you would want that. If you can just take Albino with a much less punishing thing. Dwarf. No. Giant. 
Mainly because the health opinion thing is a problem. So, maybe we take Fecund. Years of fertility and life expectancy. But fertility plus 50% is a little bit... That's a little bit... That's a lot. That's a lot. Is it a problem, though? Potentially. I'm very inclined, of course, to just take quick. Um, or hail, even. <sighs> he is an intelligent man. He's called the Brilliant. He would go with quick. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do an RP decision here. So, quick should become a thing in our family, not like for newborn. Pay a ransom. Ah, oh, you pay a ransom to me. Yes, have him back. I don't mind. Do I have more ransoms? Ah, just a little bit here. Okay, I don't care. Only one option to pick. What do I, what do I care about? Uh, Anna, come here. Learning challenge. 30% chance she becomes improvident. No, I'm going to tell her about the value of money. Me. The brilliant, improvident lad who cannot keep his money together and who just lost 400 gold. 400. Because he couldn't finish a war that he started. 400. Let me remind you. That's 400. That's four and zeros. Three. No, two. Because I can't count. It's two zeros. 400. Three numbers. Unacceptable. Uh, let's start another war we can't afford and win. Over here in Denmark. <laughs> We need to at least have enough money to ship our troops, uh, which this is going to cost us 50 gold to ship. So we do have that, but our oh, Empress is pregnant again. Like we need Fecund. We just keep getting children, but I need to get rid of one of those titles, really. But I cannot. I cannot get rid of those titles. Because I have nothing to give to one of the child children that are eligible for that. Uh. Right, let's see. We can build some stuff. London can build some stuff. Oh, right. We unlocked more stuff to build. More slots. Mm. I think we should build more money. It's not really ideal to make a really strong army or anything. But, I mean... Cattle pastures is that's pretty okay. Manor houses, of course, is very strong. Financially speaking, plus 0 0.7. Look at how little we are. That's a lot of money for us. Okay, so not we're gonna build that and we're not gonna attack anywhere. We just we just need more money at home. Right away. And maybe the Pope will give us more money eventually. Right now we're in a really, really bad spot. We don't have money. We don't have power. All we have is our mind. Our brilliant, brilliant mind. And what are we putting it to anyhow? We're researching barracks. Let's, let's speed it up. By focusing on us as well. I don't like the, how this is framed. This lady joins our court, funds her with 128 gold to weave something which captures nature's beauty. Do I pay that? Where do these funds come from? Listen, my young, inexperienced wife. Do you believe money grows on money trees? Oh, let's go to a wedding. Now we can't afford it. I mean, we could without the mercenary gods. A little Elisabeth. 
let's kick out the mercenary gods and go there for three gold. <laughs> three gold and a grand wedding. Hey, let's go. And we'll want... Let's see. Is there anyone interesting to murder? No. Is there anyone interesting to seduce? Um, Who's the bride? Her. She's not an option for seduction. Let's go with... Diplomacy? Uh... Mischief? I will just go for recreation. That's okay. We just gotta do something that isn't war that we're gonna lose. That is what we're gonna do. Spain is is a hard area to crack, really. Getting into Spain is, is very difficult. We need to somehow raise makeshift sails. Fear not, we have more sails. Sure. I mean... It's all fine. That's no problem. They're just crossing the channel here. And our little... Little... Carrack. Whoop. 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 I wish the... The going was a little bit smoother. But of course it just goes... Day by day, basically. So it couldn't be any smoother. I don't feel grand. We got a bunch of war banners, but at what cost? At what cost? I cannot wait. Who's fighting up here anyway? Oh, that's something internally to Scotland. We need to get rid of this. It's mainly an opinion issue, so it's not that bad, honestly, but... We don't want it either, let's be honest. Aw, cat brought us money. Thank you. Thank you, dear little kitty. Cat money is best money. Let's take restraint. Though I don't mind having all those children at the moment. Oh, we don't have a tax jurisdiction anymore? How does it keep happening? Uh, let's get the guy with good aptitude in there. So we actually earned some money down there in Spain. So that's a new function that they introduced with the last update uh, around the Persian expansion thing. And for clan governments to get anything out of them, you have to have a tax area basically defined. Let's see. Friendship, Diplomacy, Lifestyle. Martial Lifestyle. Uh, just nothing. Ah, well, let's go with the Diplomacy Lifestyle. Not that it matters. We're on learning, but... Uh... Diplomacy Lifestyle, Intrigue Lifestyle. And let's go more Diplomacy Lifestyle. Maybe we get a point in Diplomacy, if we keep doing that. Uh, praise the party, awkward to sit back down without saying anything. <laughs> that would honestly stress me more than saying something. So we're just gonna praise the happy couple as is expected. Let's do that. Get some opinion in there. Duke Matthew becomes our friend, or... Nah, let's become friends with... The duke here. That was actually this duke. Alright. And we got the point here. So groom to rule, children receive one to extra. Uh, this is retrospective, so that works great. Befriend scheme. I mean, it could help us, but I think we'd rather improve our children. Sway scheme, power, monthly prestige per dread. Thoughtful. Ah, we'll take that. Children receive one to extra three skill points. It is retroactive, so you're gonna see all this pop up now. They are all improved now. 
Boop, 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 boop. Regent furthers mandate. That's what we like to hear. Not sure why I can't open that. I can open that. No? No message? Okay. Is he pushing the scales? Yes, he's pushing the scales. Let's push it back. We'll leverage our piety because we have a lot of that. A faction was created against us. The Scots Catholic Populists. Well. The peasantry has their... Options. They are welcome to try. Let's see you. What can we do here? We gain Snooty for 15 years. It's very interesting. I will just nod and smile. We get a little hook. That we don't use for anything, but it's the least offensive option. So the happy couple is going to get laid now. There is some language learning going on. At least we threw back the Northmen. Are you having a little war, huh? Gain the trade Eager Reveler because we're a drunkard. Friendship with Count. No, 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 let's go. At least I can really let loose. So at least we get something out of being a drunkard. Very good. Very lovely. So you are fighting these guys right now. So that weakens you. Which means that strengthens my position. Which means it's time now. I come for my late wife or my wife. Or whatever. I think I have the money now to wage this war. And for sure, Leon will get the honor of joining us again. And let's see, West Franconia also. Costs us a bunch of prestige to do so, but we'll pay it happily. Now let's raise our troops on the coastline. Because we're going to have to ship them off anyway. <gasps> yes, we have joined the medieval era. So what that means is we can now get innovations here. And the very first one we want to go is hereditary rule. That's what we want. 25 years to get it. Um, we have more sales. We know that. Organize the army, please. And we're going to stop raising them. That's all we need. And we're going to ship them right over. Which costs us 52 gold. That's a lot. When can I ask the Pope for money again? 29th of this year. So soon. But he will have to have the money. Which right now he does not have. And he won't accept it. Either. <sighs> let's let's sway the man. We're not doing anything sensible anyway, so it might as well sway the Pope. Get him a better opinion of us. He needs to invest in my wars. In his best boy. Oh god, the shipping costs so much money. Your troops on water are the most expensive troops you can have, basically. It'll go down once they're off off ships, but right now it's just very, 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 very expensive. I don't care about this hybrid culture. And once we have that unlocked, that we're researching right now, we will be able to get out of this partition law. We toss snowballs. Yeah. Let's toss some snowballs with our children. Let's be a good father, at least try to be one. We don't have a siege man. We do have a desert warrior, though. 
Okay. Not a lot of deserts in Britain, but that's fine. I'm mainly calling in our allies because they messed us up. And I would like to repay the favor. I would like them to lose a little something something. But will we even be able to survive financially until this is taken? <laughs> I don't know. We have four months to take it. And it's gonna take five months to take it. Oh, oh god. Oh man. And we're being raided. At least not right at home, at least over in Ireland. At least, at least that little bit of grace is given to us. So we'll run out of money before we get this. And a powerful faction. Ah, yes, the Earl. Oh, the Earl. Buddy. So good to be here, for of you to be here. Can send an ultimatum in 12 months. Is that what you're warning me about? This? These 600 or so peasants that are going to come up here? All right, man. So something we can do to make this a little bit more affordable is we just go in here and we select one of those levies, one of the big ones, like this. And you can see these cost two points, something, something. And now we just... Wait until we have finished the siege and then we should be able to stand them down there. Okay, our ally is raiding there, so we go there. Now let's split this part off. Oh. Okay, let's split it off here then. And these will disband. So now our army is cheaper. Costs us less. Is weaker, but since our allies have arrived, we don't need to be full strength anymore. I just hope our... Oh no. I wanted to say, I hope our allies stay and do the sieging that they started, but no. They immediately turn around and away from it, because I move. Oh. You were able in Crusader Kings 2 to tell them where to go and what to do, basically. You are no longer capable of doing that. They will do whatever. And it, it will usually be a very bad decision. An experienced fighter has arrived. Our enemy takes the field. How experienced I... Oh, you are quite experienced, but way too rich for my blood. I can't afford you, my man. So another positive is the 700 men that we sent home, almost the 900 men. Oh, that's... Oh, plus two learning. Actually... I think we might just equip that. We'll kick this nonsense out. And put these in. I mean, we get we get plus four learning just from these. That's crazy good. That's actually really good. This one here. It's not bad, but it's also not really good. Yeah. Okay, what are we doing? Where are we at? We got the gold. Well, we're losing the gold. <laughs> we might get a little bit here. Problem is, if he's not attacking us... Is our previous wife still alive? She is. And this is her new spouse. Prince Gregory, the second spy master. My son. Mother of Prince Gregory. She's back home. But she is now a star of French. The mind spins. Okay, she's definitely back home. Okay. 
We gain the trait infirm. Yep. That's good. That's what we want to be. Alright, so the enemy is somewhere here. They landed somewhere there. I think they're taking stuff. They're trying to siege stuff over there. You can ask for gold. Yes, give me gold, please. Wait, can we catch him? Maybe. Um... Sure, let's welcome the Jews. These funds will bring us victory. Will we catch him? I could look it up. I could figure it out. But I don't want to. <laughs> so we're just gonna hope it works. Okay, we're gonna catch a bit of him. That's good enough. That's good enough. Hello, good evening. Joey? Joe? I'll just call you Joe. And we are very much starving here. Our daughter is a thrifty clerk. And she is betrothed to this man. To this vastly inferior man. Fine. Let's go. <laughs> How are you doing, Joey? How are things? What's our favorite lifestyle in the game? Well, that's a great question. Um, I will answer on the condition that you answer as well. Same question. Um, let's see. I don't want him to get a hook on me. He's just a baron. I don't care. Um, my favorite lifestyle. It's a very good question. I would like to say it depends, but I think, I think learning, I think learning, the whole of body thing to live longer, the quicker researching, I think for the majority of the game is learning. Uh, then it would be diplomacy or martial and the other two are kind of last. I would say learning. How about you? What's your favorite lifestyle? And by the way, anyone watching this over on YouTube after I've uploaded it there? Same question to you guys. Comments. What's your favorite lifestyle? In Crusader Kings 3. And why? Maybe. Honestly, you try to play as many lifestyles on a single playthrough as you can to keep the game fresh, yeah? That's a good, that's a good way of doing it. I like that. Uh, what I don't like is our people starving. So we're going to split the army. Put them like that. That should freshen them up right quick. That should do it. And it does. I mean, what's really cool is sometimes even switching between lifestyles on the same character. Sometimes that can make a lot of sense. Okay. A peasant's lot is to serve the lord. So that should be a very, very small army somewhere. Yes, it is. Fantastic. So we sent home a few troops earlier. Which we can now raise here. So like 700 or something troops we should be able to raise here. That's already enough. 800 troops is fine. We're just going to stop it. We have a commander in. Maybe we can get you a better commander. No, only guess. Alright, that's fine. So he is probably going to be fine defeating them. Just numerical superiority. Good commander. That'll do it. We'll go check on it in a second. I want to make sure that we're not... Suddenly, accidentally losing here. Uh, okay, we're not going to be able to catch him. I'm also not taking on supplies anymore because there's not enough room for us. So we got to split him again. And move him out like this. Which is kind of bad. Especially since our ally is kind of coming in. Diplomacy and martial are probably least entertaining to you. You like to play tall with stewardship and a bit of intrigue and learning. Yeah, I don't like stewardship so much because the events very often cost you more money that they, than they ever gain you. I don't know why that is. It's kind of crazy. I don't want a book artifact. I take what I need. 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we'll just take the book. I I don't have a lot of stress right now. Look at this. This is what we would have paid for. Are you kidding me? <gasps> what? Where did we get this? A prize hammer? Number of knights plus two? Knight's effectiveness plus 14%? What? Excuse me? That's crazy good. Can we even afford to repair it? Yes. I'll do that. That's crazy good. I think we got that somewhere in the... In a siege. Yeah, check history. Very good. Thank you. Um, let's see. History. Taken by Emperor Gregory the Brilliant in the Battle of Westfold. Yeah. We got it in a siege. Nice. Very good. That's great. And now where's that... Where's that god-awful book? Somewhere here. Where is that god-awful book? Do we have a slot for another book? No, we do not. Should probably prepare this. No. We're gonna destroy that thing here. It's just... Monthly lifestyle experience plus 5% actually is pretty strong. That is not bad. Honestly, on a second... Second thought. Head of Faith Opinion plus 5. But that's not a book. Uh, let's go by type. So we have two books displayed. This one and that one. This one here is okay because it gives renown. This one we don't care about. This one I don't care about. No, I don't care about this. So we're going to destroy it, get some money in. But this one? What do you say, chat? What do you say, Joe? What do you say, YouTube? <laughs> Would you equip this? Monthly piety plus 4%. Monthly learning lifestyle plus 5%. I don't think that's all too bad. But what would we replace? Definitely not the development growth. No one can get me off development growth. That's my drug in this game. So probably this? We lose a little bit of court grandeur. I think that's the most important here. And a little bit of renown, which we don't get a lot of. I think that's how I'm going to do it. Wait a moment. Now we have... Oh, oh no. We can just override it, basically. Yeah, not the worst. It's not super great, of course, but... I'm psyched. That is a cool hammer we got there. That is a very cool hammer. Okay. Bibliomancy. What? Look at this. I'm putting away my newly acquired book of hours. A slip of parchment falls out. Upon it are instructions for a practice called Bibliomancy, where one might divine their fortune from a passage in a book. All I need to do is open a text at random spot and read the first fateful verse in my eyes and fall upon. Okay, the temptation is... Let's be tempted here. Follow the instructions. Shivering with anticipation, I open my eyes and read. Fear is the mind killer. A coward dies a, uh, a, coward dies a thousand tiny deaths, yet a valiant man dies but once. What am I to make of this? It's important to know that we are shy and paranoid. <laughs> so, you know. <laughs> um, fear is the little death. But it brings us a lot of stress because we are scholar and paranoid. Fascinating. This requires further research. That's pretty good. What utter nonsense. My antiquarian should have a look at this. No, we're going to go with this. That's ideal. All right. Look at that book go. Okay. We give our son here a little marshal. Great character traits for sure. I mean, listen. Listen. Look, look at this guy. Look at this guy. Look at him. He is improvident, he is a drunkard, he is a recluse, he is flagellant, he is melancholic, he is disfigured, and he's infirm. This man, 
still has 42 learning. He deserves his name. I don't know how he's still there, you know? Let's see. Now we know one year ahead when we die. So maybe this pops up now. <laughs> I don't know how this guy is still alive, to be quite honest. I don't understand it. It is a mystery to me. Oh, look at him. Oh, we just... Oh, no, that's that's the peasant war we won. Okay, uh, peasant war has something cool. I, I know I do that a lot. <laughs> it's fantastic. So, now that we won the peasant war, let's go find... I said, okay, it's F8. No, it's F9. No, god darn. It's F5. Prisoners. So this guy we just took prisoner. And these peasant leaders are always good generals. They are a gift. Demand conversion, recruit. And now we have another great commander in our ranks. For free. Literally. These are fantastic. The best you can get for what they cost. Nothing. Okay, you want me to come to war? It costs you 750 prestige to call me. Well, guess what? It's going to cost you even more because I'm not coming. <laughs> You're going to have egg on your face. Oh, boy. All right, let's turn over to the bigger army. Rather than fighting here or trying to fight here. Uh, you want to negotiate an alliance? No. Are you within my realm? Norfolk? Yeah, okay, fine. You can have an alliance. My little Earl of Norfolk. Just got a character that was a genius. I, I died, played a sim, and child became shy, paranoid, and arrogant. <laughs> yeah, that's a what moment right there. That's one of those moments where you're just like, no, thank you. Why? Why Crusader Kings? Why you do this to us? <laughs> Prisoners can be ransomed. We'll ransom the chief test for 50 gold. She's not important for the war, I'm sure. And another lifestyle learning. Let's go healthy. We're trying to offset all the horror that is wrought upon us by our other lifestyle choices. Oh no! Our nephew died. In this battle right there. Who's now the king of Scotland? This guy. At least he's a dynasty member. It is what it is. That is so true. It is what it is. How long have you been playing Crusader Kings? If I may ask. I'm always curious to hear. That goes for all of them. like Crusader Kings 2, 3, whatever. I think Denmark has a few problems. Not just us. See our children here. Venice. I never like Venetian alliances. Chiefdom of Wolkenstein. Oh, I like that. That's a nice name. We'll go for that. Give our youngest here a few matrilineal marriages. I don't care about what they become in life, but our niece. Kingdom of Great Moravia. No thanks. Yeah, the Danish do have their problems. Let's hold some court. Um, First one, thanks. My lord, I have a brilliant idea. Cultural acceptance between the Irish and the Andalusian increases. 145 gold. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Let's just go with 5%, eh? 40 gold. Oh, you get 40 gold. 300 hours on CK3. First time like two years ago. Playing more recently. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I'll have about the same on Crusader Kings. Three. Maybe less. 260 around now, maybe. 
Very well. Uh, da -da -da. You could send surveyors. <sighs> no. It's not worth it. I'm so sorry. Please, peasants. No! I want more peasant uprisings so I can get more peasant leaders in my armies. That's how I roll. Ah, rat free household thanks to our kitty cat. The second kitty cat we have now in this campaign, uh, or in this ruler rather. Not in this campaign. We had more cats, I think. Not na many. Most cats on this ruler, for sure. Did you ever play Crusader Kings 2? We're almost done with the siege here. 70%. Okay, now we're dying again. So we split. No. Um, it's really not a lot of room for people to live off of in Norway. Or rather in... Well, this is Denmark, really. Peasant rules becoming a factory to produce the greatest knights. It is! They are! Like, they, they were so annoying in Crusader Kings 2. But in Crusader Kings 3, they, they are not much of a problem, honestly. So, okay, we're being raided. That, that I don't like. Uh, I missed a war. What? What is this? Breton conquest of the earldom of Oriel. <laughs> I missed the war. I, I, I did not notice that started. Okay, let's get everyone in here um, to defend because that costs us nothing. Everyone in to defend, please. Everyone in to defend. Every single one here. Maybe our allies can just take care of that, but... I did not notice this happening. Ah. <laughs> it's a little bit unfortunate. Like, all my troops are kind of bound here. Okay, let's bring them home. Uh, we have to defend Ireland. Let's go. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, when you rule an empire, it's a bit difficult to, to know where things are happening, really. So we could just white piece out of this one, but our war score is just going to uh, tick up as long as we hold the dotted area. Unless he retakes it, of course. Our troops might actually die crossing the ocean. They are really, really bad. Uh, not the greatest choices here. But I'm kind of confident that the other people that he's waging war against are just going to kill him. If he tries. And we have to deal with this nonsense. Insight into heavens. No. I should focus on earthly matters. Okay. I will find my answers in the heavens. Uh... May lead down a path of cynicism. I mean... I mean... Nah. I can... No. Stop telling me things that aren't true, game. So if this goes down rapidly... At some point... We might turn around. But I think we have an ally that we only called into this war. So they're just going to keep fighting that one. I hope. I don't even know if I can muster enough troops to fight this. Honestly. Let's raise everyone here. We, we still have a few more troops that we can add to that sorry lot that's coming in here. 
I don't know if I will be able to have enough troops. This is mainly, mainly retinues, but not exclusively anymore. Our heir is unmarried. Let's go for alliance power. I don't want our niece here. She already has children, so there's a good likelihood they're going to inherit this, which would be cool, but Duchy of Moray, Duchy of Mercia, the Teutonic Brotherhood. And she's quick. So that would be good. How old are you? 16. She's 20. Gives you plenty of room to have children still. I think we're going to go with the Teutonic Brotherhood and this. Might actually be able to call them in. Okay, we were defeated in something. I don't care so much. Can I call them in now? Yeah, I don't know if they're going to come though. It's another matter entirely. Okay, here at home we can replenish pretty well, even with a lot of troops. Allah left war. Alliance invalidated. Okay, so he's out, but he wasn't a big one anyway, I don't think. <sighs> Unless our allies come, we're a little bit messed up here. I don't, I'm not, I, like we can fight a single army of theirs. We can do that for sure. That's not a problem. The problem arises if there's more armies. Let's see if there's any ally coming. Oh yeah, 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 okay. They're coming. Okay, so let's not do anything stupid. Let's go sit. Let's go sit somewhere in the mountains there, in the hills. And wait for them to come. They need to defeat us, sort of. Well, they don't need to defeat us, actually. But they're looking to defeat us. Are they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're coming. They're following us. So if we can go to the hills with some fortresses until our allies arrive. Our pregnant wife is pregnant again. Well, actually, she wasn't pregnant when she became pregnant, but... Our wife became pregnant again, is the point. Okay, our allies are here, so now we can go pursue this. We would like to avoid crossing a river when attacking. But if we have to, we... Well, actually, we will. But it looks like we might be able to do a little loop-de-loop -loop here. Around the Dublin area. And we'll attack the larger, but probably weaker army. Okay, our allies don't care about crossing rivers, apparently. That's just me, then. Fine. But since it's mainly, mainly peasants that these North Norsemen bring, we actually have a decent chance here. And we need a new Marshal. Well, look at you, peasant. From peasant leader to Marshal. You are a rising star, my lad. Okay, this war here is also com progressing still. That's nice. Even though we're not even there anymore. Okay, we imprisoned him. Very good. Let's re-siege this stuff. Okay, our enemy is coming and taking back what we took. So we will have to return. Oh no. Our pregnancy was... Uh, not carried through fruition. So our allies are hunting the enemy. Fine by me. I just want to retake... This stuff. And... Oh, that's an actual... What? Okay. This guy has... 5,000 soldiers. This count. Who just owns all this. Has 5,000 soldiers. Him alone. Oh, Our feline nurse is keeping us company while we're infirm. That's very cute. A spooky helping us. So we're now losing this war over there. <laughs> sort of. Ah. Uh. I mean, this is not going to be a problem. They have a lot of troops. as a problem for us alone, but we do have allies, so... 
uh, I think we can deal with it. And I also noticed just now I didn't have Twitch chat up. Oh boy, it's a, it's a shame. Quite sorry about that. So we re retaking this here. Now we go fight him some more. No, I don't want to cross the ocean for that. Please do not abandon your siege. Please do not abandon your siege. Please do not abandon your siege. We're just going to wait here so he doesn't abandon his siege in the very last moments. Okay, and this over there is also not really going down, but now it's going to go down. 29% from 88. Ah. Painful. It's all those choices I keep making. Our daughter Philippa can marry. A duchy of Lombardy. Will he also go matrilineally? No, he will not. Okay, we'll just go with that then. Give her a duke as a husband. That's the very least I can do for her. The princess. I will find my soldiers. What? Bargain fealty. To the perceptive, you will find my soldiers welcome addition to your force. What? What was that? What did you just do? What? What was that? I've never seen that event. I don't know what that meant. No idea. Okay, what do we have here? Oh, let's encourage them. Whatever relationship. It's fine, I don't care. Their relationship remains the same. Nothing bad happened. All good. Um, It's too late for caution. Let's go. And he failed again. Don't do it again. Okay, he, is, he has mistreated us the entire time. He has been our court physician. The whole time. Not once has he treated us properly. Okay, so we could white peace out of this war. Let's see what we get when we win. 184 gold. Okay, that's something at least. There we go. Money straight into our pockets. Now we need to get our troops back to scratch. They need to replenish, take on supplies. Can we do that somewhere here? 5,000 there. That should be good. And then they can sail back. But maybe our allies just go over and, and do it all for us. And once that war is done, that's the war done. Honestly. That's all there is to it. Alright. I think that's it for today. It's a weekday. I, still, I do have to get up kind of early for, for work tomorrow. So uh, thank you very much for joining over on Twitch if you did. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. If you're watching this over on YouTube, go check out the Twitch as well. Uh, maybe join. Again, there is a giveaway for Crusader Kings 3, the base game, and some of the DLC on December 23rd. 8 o'clock in the evening, GMT plus 1. So Paris or Berlin time. And we'll leave it at this for now. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you around. Have a great day, evening, whatever it is for you right now.